Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffo Plays. Uh, as you remember in our previous episode, we were looting an old man's uh, crypt and dying horribly. Yeah. So from that, we... Uh, let me rewind here real quick. Um, let's see, a hulking beast stands above you, staring down at your broken body. You are the last it growls, then it disappears. The walls rumble and grow dark. The shadows scramble to escape the room, leaving the greater darkness behind. Before you can flee, the entire tomb implodes upon itself. Oh, yeah. We're awoken outside. All around us, the graveyard is in ruin. The few remaining stones of Caledorn's tomb lie at the bottom of a great crater. You stand unsure how you survive and hobble away. So, before we started up today's episode, we kind of decided we should run ourselves back. Ooh. Back here. To town. To town. So, we are going to take a town action. Um, as you crest a rise, you find a group of pilgrims led by a graying priest in a red robe. Come share our fire for a spell, says the priest. Kalos will warm your body and your spirit. We can stay and visit with the pilgrims, or we can continue on our judge. Or a journey. If we had Brother Garen, there's a special thing, but we don't have a Brother Garen. I don't know who Brother Garen is, but we don't have him. So, do we want to stay and visit, or do we uh, continue? Apparently, if we had Brother Garen, we could do. We could say the flame shall be your judge. I think we get to murder these this old man. Um. So, what do we choose, guys? Well, let's just leave him be. Yeah, Le leave him alone. We continue on our journey. The priest seems disappointed, but makes no move to stop us. When Cleric doesn't want to deal with the priest... Okay! We have some new items in there for purchase. Um, we have a steel broadsword, a hand bow. I'm looking, hold on. My baggies that I have these in are very tiny. It is an exotic bow. Mm. You may perform one, only will perform one attack with this weapon each turn, but it surges for pierce one. So we've got at, we've got, what do you, what kind of weapons do you use over there, Bubba? Uh, mace. Mace? What do you Currently got an iron mace. So that's what we're looking at so far. We've got a steel broadsword. Let me see if I can find that. We have leather armor available. It is, of course, the last thing. A steel broadsword. Once per attack roll, you may reroll one red power die. Is it so one-handed or two-handed? It is a one-handed weapon. Maybe. Uh, we have an immolation rune, ruin, a mana weave rune, rune, mana weave rune, and flash powder. I don't know what flash powder is. Oh, there it is. It's a trinket. Test your eyesight. If you pass one monster adjacent to you, your choice is stunned, and you may move up to your speed. <coughs> this is also a trinket. It is. So it doesn't count. So you can make another attack with that. So we're going to make some quick decisions. We'll be right back and let you know what we picked. So it looks like after some, uh, let's call it discussion, um, we will pick up a steel broadsword. Item has now been purchased. Melina would like to get her hand bow. And Mr. Watt... He's going to sell that mace of his. That leaves us with 133. I was thinking we should also get that leather armor. Sure, who wants it? It's like... We'll buy that item. Me? Mm -hmm. Awesome. It'd probably be good because you're... Me, question close. mark. <laughs> Me, question mark. There so we're going to buy the leather armor. That leaves us with $58 in there. Do we want to take a city action? Gives one XP, one XP plus fifty gold per hero is one or one week plus. Fi oh, okay, we don't have that. We don't have time. We don't have the well. We don't have the money. Um, so no. we're good there. Yeah. It's essentially you sit in town, you do a little piddly crap in town, but you get an XP for it. So that mm. looks like what we got there. I say let's leave and head to <coughs> that other side quest. Uh oh, another side quest appeared. Ooh. Arachnophobia. The spiders and their young have gone missing. No thanks. Oh no, sorry. Arachnophilia. The spiders and their young have gone missing, throwing off the balance of the forest. We could do that. Or we could uh, 
Enemy of my enemy, the settlement of Evenshire has requested aid, but the mages that responded first have only taken advantage of their weakened state. Do we want to go abuse some mages? <laughs> I say let's. <laughs> okay. Keep us away from spiders. We That's shall forest. go and abuse some mages. The forests. Cool. No. Forest. Um. The road no. splits and forms a perfect circle around a tall man here, inscribed with what might be mystical ruins. Do we want to stay in the road or do we want to investigate the men here? I like magic. Magic sounds cool. I mean, I'm a warrior and probably <laughs> should not be near it. I'm like the closest thing we could get to Conan, but hey, let's investigate. You walk through the waving grass to inspect the rough stone. One, Choose one hero to test their lore. The book. book. I've got a lore freak. Either one of you, make a choice. Here we go. Uh, Black and a silver, whoever's doing it. You did not. We fail. The stone is cryptic. Is a cryptic curiosity. Nothing more. We continue. Help. As you return to the road, however, you find yourself stumbling and, th and thoughts are muddled. You glance back at the stone and sense its cold presence probing your senses. Perhaps you are not the only one investigating. Each hero suffers a fatigue. Here we go. <coughs> we begin. A few weeks ago, the small settlement of Evenshire sent out a request for aid. Goblins were harassing their fledgling defenses, and they needed outside assistance. Unfortunately, the mages they hired took advantage of the settlement's weakness instead of mending it. The budding community has turned into a prison camp and forward base for evil. It requires the aid of true heroes. Well, I, why are we going? <laughs> all right, we will pause quickly and set aside all of those items. Okay, we've got our small pile of tiles right there. Let's widen that back out a little bit. Uh, the settlement rests silently upon a low hill above you. In the gloom of first light, you, sink, you slink through the brush and unharvested fields, entering the small graveyard before meeting any resistance. There, in the mists and shadows, silent guardians await. Nine and fourteen. So we want nine and fourteen. So we want this, and we want this. Place the heroes at the entrance. I don't see... Oh, and one entrance. The one entrance is right there. Right, let's see. Ah, there we go. And one entrance. Place the heroes there. Where would people like to go? Put me near the front. Put you near the front. I too am a frontwards guy. I'm not. Okay. I am a ranger. I sit back and. Bow. Two giant mounds of bodies block your advance to either side. The ma the majority are goblins. These must be invaders that the mages cleared out. At least you don't have to worry about that after retaking the town. Place four objective tokens as shown. We need some objective tokens here. These are piles of bodies, and as an action, a hero adjacent to a body can test strength to clear the path. Well, that's not me. <coughs> I do not strength. Okay. We are where we are. Who would like to go first? I'll move four towards the nearest. Four oh, takes five. you right there. All right. If you spend a fatigue, you could go one space further, and then you could try and... Uh, Fair enough. You could go there, and you could be... I'll test for Oh, strength. hold on. We're apparently not done. The, the game had to randomize our group of crud. 
Yeah. So. So we can take back that one. Yep. As we gain zombies. There are three of us, so we get three of these and, and a boss. A master bon monster there. Wow. Look, we oh. have friends you can go ready to fight. We have a search token. Ooh. See, the game just froze thinking about things. I like searching things. Locate the treacherous mages is currently our objective. Now, who would like to go? What would you like to read? Plan your situation here. I am going to bonk you with prayer healing and then go. Why? I'm not wounded. Uh, it it ups the auras. The uh, yellow hit die and the brown defense die. It, but I don't need that, dude. Okay. I really don't. Okay, then I'll walk up this back one. I was gonna. So you know. one, two, three, four. Walk up and smack one. Uh, they throw a brown die. What other color do you need? Red. Red. With your new steel broadsword. Ooh. For four? Hit search? Four and a Make surge. That... Which one are you attacking? The white one or the red one? The white one. The white one. That'll be a dead zombie. Sweet. Uh, that would be Avric's turn. The zombies go! Each attack gains plus two damage. Ow. It will engage the closest hero. So, one. <clears throat> and then it will attack the closest hero. They throw a blue and a yellow. Blue and a yellow. Add your defense to that. You need what? Silver and brown? Yep. What do you got? Boy. Uh, I'll take three and a surge. Ah, uh, Surge, hold on. <clears throat> the first thing they do is disease you. My large arm grabs across the room to grab cards. So you'll end up taking five What? Because of their... Yes, you yeah, add plus two damage to that. You take five. Uh, the other guy stays where he is. All minions have activated. The master will engage you and attack you. He also throws a blue and a yellow. Does he have the same effect? Yes, he does. Oi. Uh, I'll take two. Plus two more is four. It is our turn. Who would like to go? You want me to run up there and kill? I can do that. Um, <clears throat> well, one, two, three, four, um, I guess let's, yeah, let's see, each time you're within three spaces, let's see here, I just got a quick reread, it's been a day or two, oh, I don't even have to get that close, so I'm going to go there. I have reach. reach. So blue and red and brown and disease tokens. Ooh, they actually defended themselves. A little bit. That's okay. I can attack the white guy, which this blocks this, but my surge is for plus two damage. So I'll kill the white guy. And that would be me. Melina, you are all that remains. Ugh. Oh, hold on. I, cl I killed things. Each <laughs> time I defeat a monster, each other hero within three spaces of me gains a valor token. Uh, each time I defeat a mo mo an attack with a valor, I gain a valor token. There we go. And you know what? During my turn, before I say go, I will exhaust and give you one more. 
You may spend those to add one damage or one shield to an attack or defense. But it is before rolling. You must choose. Okay, so I'm going to do a total of two fatigue to move one, two, and one, two. And then I'm going to shoot uh, the red guy with the handbow first. Shoot the red guy with the handbow. They throw brown. Okay, throwing dice on the floor does not count in our games. In our world, not at all. As you throw in dice everywhere. But you got two defense, and I see four wounds and two surges. What can you do with the surges? Uh, pierce one. Pierce one. That'll get me, that'll me, drop his armor down to one, and it still takes three. Unfortunately, our master zombie has six health. Whatever, I can... That was one attack. I can now switch to the um, great book. Nice! Um, uh, that, that's plus two. I see two oh. hits, two damage. Oh, let's Three get those damage. dice. There we go. Three damage total, plus a surge. What do you yeah, mean? the surge does uh, two more parts. So, three more damage. That's a dead master monster. Boom. Oh. That is a dead <coughs> master monster. Jaina's turn is over. Uh-oh. We are being surrounded. Place one zombie there. A new round begins tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, find out how we fare, see if the zombies get the better of us, or if we can find and defeat these mages on Jaffo Plays.